With changing diets and changing lifestyles, where people don't always work in the fields and do manual labor as they used to, people in developing countries are getting heavier and more frequently have diabetes. Diabetes is becoming an enormous problem globally, even among the poorest people in the world. So obesity is not only a problem in America, it's a problem all over the world now. Now it is said that the uh, diabetes capital of the world will be Southeast Asia. Diabetes is a very costly disease. It can be said about diabetes that if you are diabetic, once you are diabetic for the rest of your life. Diabetes can affect many parts of the body, but in particular it can affect the eye. The part of the eye that is damaged is the back of the eye, which is called the retina, and you get diabetic retinopathy. If you have diabetic retinopathy and it's severe, you can be totally blind. As the numbers of diabetics increase in Bangladesh, we're going to see more and more diabetic retinopathy across the population. Helen Keller International decided that we wanted to focus on diabetic retinopathy several years ago as part of our goals for preventing blindness worldwide. Part of our program is to actually go out and notify the community about this problem so that they know to come for eye exams. The problem with diabetes and diabetic retinopathy is people don't know they have it. Patients with diabetic retinopathy do not feel any pain and sometimes they don't lose vision until late in the disease. We have to think of creative and cost-effective ways to identify people with diabetic retinopathy before they go blind. With this new project, we are trying to do early screening of patients. So early detection of retinopathy. This project is a telemedicine project. A patient comes in and gets a picture taken of the back of his eye, and that gives us a view of the retina. That view of the retina is sent over the internet to our central grading center, and people who are well-trained in grading those images decide if there's a problem or not. When I examine the retina within the screen, I can pick up the minor changes. I want to see whether there is any red bright dot this we call microaneurysm. Patients who need care are sent in and they receive treatment as needed. Sometimes that's a laser, sometimes that might be an injection of medicine into the eye, and even in the worst cases that could be surgery. Laser therapy helps to prevent blindness. It burns out the abnormal vessels within the retina. We can save the central retina for good vision. This is a very important project because diabetes is one of the major causes of blindness. We are fortunate enough to start the program of handling this problem and we hope that it will spread all over the country eventually. The overarching goal of this system is to make this universal for Bangladesh and even for other countries. And what we're trying to do is provide the highest quality care at the lowest cost so that this is possible. We're hoping that this will be a paradigm that we can help to spread with our expertise to other locations with other great partners.